morning, Fire Nation. I'm Nathan Gonzalez. And I'm Shannon O'Loughlin. And we are here with Fenwick Broadcasting to give you the latest in news. In Fenwick Sports, this week was an action-packed week for the Friars. Leading off, girls softball came up short against Bennett. Across the diamond, boys baseball had a busy week with three games. Finally, congratulations to girls lacrosse on their double victories this week. Don't forget to support your Friars this weekend. This Friday, Fenwick is holding the 70th annual Black Friars Gala. This event will be held at the Old Post Office in Chicago. The Black Friars Gala is fundraising an event that accepts donations to help the Fenwick community. At the gala, there will be a number of amazing chances to win one of Fenwick auction prizes. Some of the prizes you can win are a St. Martin luxury vacation, backstage passes to a Will Ferrell comedy show, and so many more spectacular items. Now let's hear from Peter Cullerton. Peter? Thank you very much, Shannon. I'm Peter Cullerton, here with varsity lacrosse athlete Dylan, Mr. Sloche, Murphy. So Dylan, right now you guys are about halfway through the season at 4-2. How's the energy go, feeling for going into the second half? Um, it's pretty good. Uh, played, I mean, we haven't played our toughest competition yet, but we got some big games coming up this Saturday, uh, 11 a.m. at the Priory versus OPRF. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Who's the biggest source of energy for the team, do you think? Um, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm the hype man myself, but uh, Charlie Ward likes to get in, get get the team hype. Of course, get going. Ward. Yeah, they call him the dog, more the puppy. Uh, what team was the most fun to play, do you think? Uh, our Marmion game was pretty fun. That was the first like, big game we had, a CCL team that we played. What was the score of that? We won 9-3. Oh, that's a good win. Are there any teams you feel maybe you should be worried for? Uh, no, nah, I come into every game thinking that we're going to win. So, But we do got some big games coming up that are going to be tough. Uh, they're going to be wins. That was the right answer. What, would you, what, what do you think you would tell somebody who would, uh, who's thinking of joining like next year? Uh, for sure, come out. It's, I started my sophomore year. Um, I picked it up very easily, very quickly. And I'm, I'm varsity now, so. That's why they yeah, call him the dog. Out. All right, well, thank you very much, Dylan. Thank Have you, a good one. Back to you in the studio, Shannon. How wonderful. Absolutely. Saturday, April 29th, Fenwick is hosting a picnic for all the accepted 8th graders. The picnic will include a food truck, games, activi activities, and music. It will be hosted at the Priory. Drop by and say hello to our future Friars. Gotta love the close to 27, right, Shannon? For real. And finally... Do you enjoy dining outside of your favorite Oak Park restaurants? Well, five popular restaurants that have had minimal patio space have just gotten the approval to use parking spots so people can dine on street. This will start on May 1st and will continue through October 31st. The restaurants include Kettle Springs Diner, Mora Oak Park, Chicago Waffles, Scratch on Lake, and Papa Sprinos. There are a total of eight public parking spaces that were promised by the Village of Oak Park. And this is a great way for diners to enjoy the nice weather ahead with great food. This will also help restaurants gain more business as diners will be able to enjoy their food outside with all the new on-street dining spots. And that's all we have for you today. On behalf of the Fenwick Broadcasting Club, I'm Nathan Gonzalez. And I'm Shannon O'Loughlin. Remember seniors, 18 more school days till graduation. Until then, hang in there, Friars, and have a great weekend. Make good choices. Friar, Friar up. up.